What is up guys, if you're watching this, that means you got another day. I'm here in Hollywood, California. Man, this is gonna be a good episode. You guys sent in your builds for me to roast. And I warned you before I took these that I was gonna be harsh. Yeah, this is gonna sting a lot. It's about that time again. Thank you so much to everybody that did submit because you're about to get absolutely destroyed for everyone else's entertainment. But before we jump into it, I want to say a huge thank you to CJ Pony Parts who sponsored a set of Brembo brakes for my build. Guys, we're turbo in this monster. It will be able to do 600 to the rear once we build it up. And I've got my brake caliper hat and shirt on as a shout out to CJ Pony Parts for sending me these new bad boy Brembos. If you want to buy any parts for your car, even if it's not a Mustang, they might have something. I'm going to link them in the description below. And you will be doing me a huge favor by just clicking on the link because they actually track the traffic to it and the more link clicks that we get the more cool parts that I can get as well all right let's jump right into this first up is SRT Vera oh dear god all right well this build first of all looks like if the Stradman lived in South Central LA I mean it's what is this a Dodge Magnum the only Magnum is on the name of the car no way you're pulling girls with this whip and all those extra seats and I think the only person you can fit inside is your mom and by the way nice Nice loophole on bagging your car. All you had to do was carry her to the bakery once and your suspension is smashed enough to get you into the cambered car meat. And uh, speaking of desserts, your hood scoop looks like an ice cream cone after someone bites the chocolate tip off. Not really sure what the inspo was there. As far as your wrap color goes, it looks like I bought a bag of berry Skittles and I just left it melt in my cup holder. Your rear fitment situation <laughs> is the equivalent if somebody folded their eyelid back to make the goofy faces like we did in the fifth grade, both of which which are equally as painful to look at. Anyway, ST Vera, a very interesting setup on your Dodge Magnum. I will say this is very unique. We do love purple, and you listed some of the mods on this car, and you have a Pro Charger, which can almost guarantee that it's probably faster than my Mustang. The two-tone look is something I've never be seen before, especially on a car like this, so well done on that. And I'm kind of a fan of the wheels with those purple lug nuts. Next up, we have J.R. Perez. Oh my God, it wouldn't be a car roast if I didn't have at least one Subi in here. Oh cool, you got a ski box on top. Is that to hold all of your vape canisters? Either that or it's the same as my ex's promises. Both empty and useless. The only people that top their cars with seasonal decorations, by the way, are 40 year old white suburban moms and you. We also probably don't need the downforce that that wing provides when you're carrying a box large enough to ship the hopes and dreams we all had for 2020. No really other mods on this entry level off-road high school commuter unless we can assume that your steering wheel logo is plastidipped and your rear view mirror is packed with more of those little black Christmas trees than a New York City landfill on January 1st. Anyway, JR Perez, nice work with the Subi. I do love all the support that you give from my channel. I hope you have a lot of fun out there in North Carolina. My home state, my guy, go Tar Heels, and thanks for sending the pics. And hopefully you are using that ski box for some kind of adventures out there. You guys have a lot of sick roads to drive on that I wish we had in California. <laughs> Alexander, you are up next. Well, you sent in only one photo when I asked for two to three, so it looks like you cut corners on both video requests and proper modifications to cars. I mean, has anyone told you that Lambo doors are even weird on some Lambos? Like, the Aventador can pull it off, but any Anything else looks like something my 14 year old self would build in the garage of a midnight club video game. This build looks like if my grandpa cashed in on his dream car but then decided that he still wanted to date an 18 year old girl. You debadged the grill? Probably a smart idea so that way you don't get a cease and desist from Cadillac for turning their elegant work into whatever the hell this Nickelodeon project is. It's all. <laughs> It's almost like you went to Roos Chris Steakhouse, ordered the filet mignon, and then asked to top it with ketchup. But all in all, it is a Cadillac at the end of the day. The Lambo dollars are unique, and I would flex the hell out of those if I was filling up at a gas station. I'm sure your car is also quicker than mine, and I love the amount of time that you've put into making a Cadillac, which can be, even though elegant, a very basic car, you have turned it into something truly unique, and I would love to see it at a car show sometime. Okay, next up we have Dane. What in the unicorn red ice cream cone looking build do we have going on here? Uh, you Did you run out of space underneath the hood of a Miata? Don't those things come? 
come with like V2 engines or like a mouse on a wheel. So you turbo it, clearly. Uh, what does that bring you up to on speed? Like 200 horsepower? Honestly, this turbo is more in your face than a non-skippable YouTube ad on one of my vlogs. I see you've modded the interior here. Does that Momo steering wheel help you leave the scene quicker after you lose to Chevy Volt and Pink Slip races? Or did you team up with Jesse from Fast and Furious for this build? I mean, it looks like you won a race, but too soon, Junior. Nice race harness, though. Something good to trap that girl if you can ever convince one to sit in the passenger seat of this Fisher Price convertible. Anyway, guys, really do make sure you go follow Dane. He's one of my best friends. And unfortunately, this Miata did get totaled last week. He was out on a cruise. Someone cut him off and he lost control. We are very lucky he was able to walk away from it. And right below the CJ Pony Parts link in the description below, I'm going to put a link to Dane's GoFundMe. I lost a car that got totaled one time and it absolutely wrecked my life because if you're like me or Dane and some of you, your car is a huge part of your identity. So we want to make sure we can help him replace it as soon as possible. So even if it's just $5 gas money, toss it his way. He's going to put all this towards his next bill and I'm sure you'll see it popping up on my channel again soon. So help out Dane, please, for me. Dane is such a good guy and really loved that Miata and had a really sick build on it, honestly. Okay, next up we have Mr. Dylan. Now, Dylan, this guy, can you believe it, actually sent me an email with the subject line calling it a one of one. Uh, Dylan, in case you don't live in LA, this looks identical to every single entrepreneur's five series that their dad bought them. Your inner Jeff Gordon is showing because you've crammed multiple different sponsors <laughs> into the corner of your window. And if you own two sushi, if your own two social media platforms can even count as a sponsor. I don't know why anyone would want to VF tune the same car that I would expect to show up as my Uber, but hey, work with what your daddy bought you, right? Just make sure that you use the turn signal when you leave the meet that no one noticed your one of one build at. <laughs> Guys, Dylan is a great friend of mine as well. He has a really fast BMW that I've actually driven. I guarantee it's way quicker than mine. And even as a big BMW handles better than my Mustang and it is a monster now that VF tuning is done with it. It sounds fantastic and shoots a bit of flame. Dylan's also doing some big things on TikTok, so make sure you go check him out there as well. Next up, my boy Estefan. <laughs> Congrats, you have a 135i. Did the paint budget run out on your hood though? I mean, I get it, exposed carbon. Will you ever expose this car to an actual car meet? I mean, it's been in the shop for like 47 years. Also, who dumps as much money as you do into turbos, a carbon hood tuning, and then puts wheels like that on? I mean like, what are those? Hopefully your TikTok does take off so that you can buy a real BMW and not be stuck with the one that you would find at a used car lot in Bakersfield with like balloons loons attached to it. <laughs> when I was a kid, I asked for takeout when I was out with my parents and they always said that we had food at home. If the food at home were a car, it would be this 135i. <laughs> oh my God. That's just fun. It hurt to roast you. Estefan is one of the nicest guys I know in the car community and one of the most supportive. He was actually instrumental in helping me win my twin turbos with the contest with Nate Ryder. And he will be going with me to Utah when I go out and race the Burlocker and do some videos with the Stradman. Make sure you give Estefan a follow. He by far makes the best TikToks that I have ever seen anyone make. Absolutely hilarious. Next up, we have Ticket Dismissers. A supercar, an actual supercar, finally. Now, too bad that they ruined it, trying to make it look like the very type of car that I avoid in Los Angeles. I mean, like, guys, what's your theory here? Maybe if we look like LAPD, they won't pull us over when we're doing 50 rolls in the BH2 rally? Too bad that you guys are a literal bullseye when it comes to cops. I mean, check out this photo. It can only be represented by this meme. I literally laughed when I saw this. You're the first ones that I would call to help with my ticket, but the last ones that I'd call for ideas on a wrap that makes sense. I mean, nothing says I drive a James Bond car and live a badass life like a four foot tall traffic light plastered to my hood. <laughs> Oh my God, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ticket dismissers, they are lifesavers when it comes to tickets. Please give them a follow on IG. They post hilarious videos of people trying to get away and get in trouble with police. And they are currently working a case with me right now. And I have them on speed dial when I eventually get in trouble with the police because I know something's gonna go wrong with this turbo situation. And these are lifesavers when it comes to anything ticket related. You can guarantee that you will see them at events in LA, car events all the time. These guys are super plugged into the community. Really, really nice guys, and they have a badass Aston Martin. All right, next up, my boy Joseph. Now, speaking of traffic lights on cars, what's better than one? Two. Well, 
BH2. If you guys don't know, the BH2 rally, I've been to it a bunch of times. It's one of the best rallies that you can go to in Los Angeles, and Joseph is actually the organizer of this. It's impossible to get lost on these rallies if you're following Joseph's car, because all you have to do is ask Santa Claus where he parked his BMW. I mean, you're literally a German candy cane. Now, when you said you were getting a sick rap, Joseph, I was expecting something a little less Pinterest. I mean, what was your inspo for this? The Java logo? <laughs> and nothing pairs better with red than the color green. I mean, I hope Ticket Dismissers cover the whole balance of this car's wrap because I couldn't imagine using any of my own money to make my car look like the Adobe logo. But for real guys, give Joseph a follow. He organizes, like I said, one of the best, one of my favorite rallies in Los Angeles, the BH2 rally. And Joseph is also super plugged into the car community in LA. I'm sure you'll see a lot of people that you know and love pop up on his page. And he is a really fun dude to just hang out with and talk cars and one of my good friends. Next up, we got South OC Cars and Coffee. The organizer of the whole event sent me his build and that is, oh joy, a basic red Camaro. Now, but for real, this guy did send me a list of mods and it's longer than the list of complaints you get after a girl says, I'm fine. FYI, unless we're talking about fire engines, your fire extinguisher does not count as a mod, so you probably don't need to list it, my guy. Although with this paint scheme, you could be driving a fire truck. Now, judging by your rear wheel setup, I see that you race, but are your races as hectic and wild as the events that you organize? I mean, the last OC Cars and Coffee had so many Miatas revving on the side streets, I thought I was caught in a swarm of mosquitoes. I mean, your build is what I would imagine a college trust fund kid would set up. I like a Camaro but throw 30k at it please <laughs> No, nope. resale value doesn't matter to me at all. And yes, I love a good $600 a month car insurance premium. Dude, you put HREs on a Camaro. That's like handing a Rolex to a homeless person. What good is it gonna do besides confuse people? <laughs> and you debadged everything. I'm sure that's listed somewhere as a mod on the grocery list of items that you sent in your email. And I bet the resale value actually goes up for anyone who can't figure out that this is actually a Chevy. And if you're dailying this car with that rear setup, you better be throwing down nine or I'm gonna assume that you're only as dumb as I am pretending to have a car that appears to be ready for the track but never has actually seen one. In all seriousness, guys, we love OC Cars and Coffee. Really, really fun event to hit any weekend you want and you can almost bet that there's gonna be some kind of crazy car pulling up and it is a great place to network with some really, really great people. And shout out to this guy for going through all the trouble of organizing it each week. I go to a lot of car events and it is difficult to put on something of this caliber. So props to you, man, for doing it right every weekend after weekend after weekend. And last but not least, guys, I want to make sure you know that uh, my car can get roasted too. The Roush Mustang. <sighs> I don't know why I thought it was a great idea to put DM slider on a license plate, but I'll tell you two types of people who would. One, someone who can only get his mom to ride shotgun, but she looks young enough to pass as his girlfriend. Or number two, somebody who hasn't kissed a girl since the eighth grade. And I might be both of these people. This rap screams, I wasn't hugged as a child. Please give me attention. I don't know who else would sink their life savings into an automatic V6 Mustang unless they had a life goal to go bankrupt and drive a clown car at the same time. DM Slider? Yeah, I'm not pulling tens with this. I'm pulling 15s. We're talking about quarter mile times, right? Maybe instead of a $7,000 turbo, I should focus more on getting a front lip that doesn't warp down from cheap plastic and two extra cylinders under my hood so my car doesn't sound like a lawnmower when I'm flooring it into the nearest crowd. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I didn't sting too much for any of those guys that sent in builds. I love each one of you guys. Make sure you go give them a follow. I drop videos like this every single Tuesday, every single Thursday, every single Sunday. If you enjoyed the roast video and you wanna see more like this, just drop it in the comments. I'd be happy to do another one of these sometime soon. Make sure you click that notification bell so that we can boost up the views on this video. I keep having people tell me that this channel is underrated. Well, guess how we get it overrated? Share it with people, share it with people. I'm dropping everything that I can to go full-time YouTuber 2020, and I will catch you at the next episode. Peace. I'm alive to you just to get through the night with you. Hope that's all right, know you lie. It's